just declared war on the U.S. The Georgians hit our communications, transportation, power grids. We still don't know how extensive the damage is. Your mission just became critical. You know what you need to do. Hello guys, it's Snowflake here, and I'm starting a new game, and as you've probably figured it out, this is Splinter Cell. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little intro, I thought it would be better not to interrupt it with the annoying sound of my voice, but yeah, ready to, ready to go I suppose. Um, if you haven't figured it out, um, Splinter Cell is a game where you start as an, well, you start as an NSA agent, and you're basically working undercover, like a secret agent game, basically. The intro shall probably explain more, so let's get into it. Let's make a new profile. Uh, let's leave it on normal, because uh, I'm scared of hard. Right, let's... Cancelled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions has hindered Georgia's hopes of integration into Western institutions. Industry baron Kambane Nikolaj seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of days to affirm his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Bringing high-speed fiber optic connectivity to areas of Eastern Europe that less than a decade past didn't have telephones. The technological leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries in the Netherlands and especially Georgia, where President the vice president called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian president Kumbain Nikolads a man with his eyes on the future. Okay, so hopefully you managed to see that. So the game starts with a tutorial as most games do. We are Agent Sam Fisher and we will be initiating the NSA's third echelon initiative. But first, I have to show that I've got the, good, got the stuff. Sam Fisher. Okay. I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hi, Mom. Hello, Colonel. You can use my name. The room's safe. I'm hurt. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. 
We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine, and we'll be online through your earpiece and opsat. And that's how we're handling training? Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> Be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. All right, get started. Can you hear me clearly? Hi there. Good. That means the implanted speaker is working incorrectly. Now, the technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry I had to eat dinner and do stuff. Um, but you probably would have just... Well, in the video would have just skipped, but I had to take a break. So if I remember right, this guy asked me to look to my left. Great. Now the one on your right. Sure thing, kiddo. Okay, same thing for pitch. Look for another light up in the rafters on the ceiling. No problemo. Excellent. Now look for one on the ground in front of you. There we go. All right, Fisher. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge, over that pool. Seems simple enough. Yeah, I figured that out. And we've done it. Won't be amazing. We'll let you do your thing here. You're looking at your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it. Sure. Oh uh, yeah, we might as well run here. Uh, meant to climb on this side. Ooh, we're learning how to climb a ladder. This is all you need to be a top secret agent. Oh, okay. That's a little more complicated. Wee. Okay. Yep, crouch. Easy enough. Split jump. Oh, this is fun. This is always fun. Isn't that cool? Alright, enough of that. Uh, let's see. Hand over hand under a pipe will be in. Right. Yep. We're flying through this, boys. All right, okay. Let's do that. Oh, hope you guys are enjoying that view. I know I most certainly am. All right, climb a fence. No problem. Uh, back to a wall. Yep. Right. Climb the pole. No prob. And down the ladder. Good job, Fisher. As soon as you can find a way over the gate, we'll move on to covert ops training. It may be possible. I have a feeling it will be possible. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try again. There we go. Oh. 
Oh, okay. You have to run right up to that door so it opens. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do covert ops training and then we'll call it a day. You're moving on into covert ops. The objective is to sneak through the area. Uh, sorry, I'm repeating this part. Uh, the game crashed, so. You're moving on into covert ops. The objective is to sneak through the area without being detected. We've got live bodies in there. Some of the top CIA instructors have kindly volunteered to be your victims. Actually, I think we'll leave it there as training part one, and then we'll finish it off uh, in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this. It will get more interesting later when we get into the actual missions, but uh, I'll see you later.